My name is Fanny Gerson and I'm the chef founder of Dough Donuts and I'm going to teach you how to make cake donuts at home. We are going to be making a sour cream cake donut with a lemon glaze. Some people think that cake donuts are baked, which is a misconception. To me, a donut really has to be fried. Otherwise, I would say that's a cake in the shape of a donut. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cream the butter with the sugar. We're going to paddle it a little bit, and then we're going to add the sugar gradually. So what you're looking for is this sort of sand-like texture. If you were to press it, it holds its shape. I like to add the lemon zest here with the butter because I feel you get more of the flavor. I'm of the theory that the little things make a big difference. When you add the flour, you really just want to make sure it's incorporated, but you don't want to overmix it. So it's just till it's barely mixed. There we go. Put a little bit of flour, and then you're just going to gently knead it. You're just trying to sort of bring it together. And then we're just going to wrap it with saran wrap, and we're going to put it in the fridge for at least an hour up to a day. The reason you want to let it rest is so that the gluten from the flour has time to sort of relax. You can actually prepare this dough a day in advance, so you can have it ready in your fridge, and then you would just have to bring it back to room temperature before frying. Now we're gonna roll them out. I do something a little bit different. Roll it out, kind of thin, about a quarter of an inch, and then you're gonna fold it. Dip the cutter a little bit, and then you just press evenly. Then you're gonna cut the holes. And then you can re-roll the scraps. This is done. We're gonna prepare the glaze and we're gonna start heating our oil. This is just a very basic lemon glaze. You mix the powdered sugar with the salt, the lemon zest, the lemon juice. You're gonna add enough water until you have the desired consistency. You're gonna feel a little bit of resistance. Now we're ready to fry. You wanna heat your oil to about 325, 330. What I like to do is fry the, the little chipmunks first. You want to wait in between the batches because the temperature is going to drop when it starts cooking them. If you don't wait, then your next donuts are going to be oilier. When you see the center browning, you want to flip them over. You know the old-fashioned donuts that are kind of uneven looking? If you want to get a similar kind of effect, you can make indentations with the tip of a knife. So all our donuts have been fried, and now it's time to finish them. So the donut holes, I'm gonna toss them in a little lemon sugar. For the glazed one, usually there's one side that's a little more flat, and then there's another side that has a little bit of a curve. So I use the one that has a little bit of a curve to be the one that has the dip. I like to glaze them when they're hot, just because I like how it seeps into the little cracks. If I'm gonna do something like chocolate, I may wanna wait a little bit. Here at Dough, we do a lemon ginger, and then we do a lemon poppy. One of the best things about this recipe is then you can really play around. You can do a spiced one. Maybe you want to swap out the lemon zest for orange zest, but really you can use this to make it your own. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope it inspires you to make donuts at home. If you want to watch more episodes of Savvy, just click here.